uh, let's let's uh, let's segue on to talking to Mr. Philip Nellen from Canyon View High School out in the West Valley. Mr. Nellen, how are you, sir? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing great. Good, so, good. Mr. Nellen, so you know, this is this whole graduation process. You realize? I mean, Mike and I were class of '89. And we still reminisce about the old days and the things that you are doing now to impart on on these kids are going to be talked about 40 years from now. Do you know how much of an impact you're making on those young lives? No, uh, absolutely. I mean, it, it's something that I don't take for granted. Uh, when we started this school three years ago, we, we started with the end in mind. So it's how do we get them to graduation? How do we get them to the next level in their life? Um, and, 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 you know, I, these are forever things, right. That, that, that yeah. we're trying to do and that we're trying to establish. So, um, I'm truly, truly excited to have our first senior class coming up and, um, yeah, it's a big deal. We got a meeting. We're going to talk about all things senior year this summer and make sure they have the, uh, the best memories that they can have. And let's talk about the fact you touched on something very important. Your school is only three years old and you are you are you got to be the only high school in the state of Arizona and one of the, the only ones in the country right now that is that does not have a graduation because you don't have any seniors on your campus. And in spite of that, you guys have, have already bagged your first state championship doubles uh, women's tennis. Uh, you, you had a tennis team finish that, that one state, a couple of young ladies. That was very exciting. You had softball and baseball finish very strong in the postseason. Softball in particular in, 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 in 5A were the state finalists in, in their essentially what was their first year of varsity competition with no seniors. And you've got a jam-packed campus. I mean, you're not a flash in the bucket there. It's not like you've got 500 students walking around. You've got, what, 18, uh, 17, 1,800 students on your campus. Yeah, no, we've got 1,450 right now. Next year will be 1,850. Um, so okay. right now, technically, we're the smallest 5A school. But, um, you know, we started, we came into this, um, I think we all expected to compete early. Um, I hired coaches with that mindset. I hired teachers with that mindset, whether it's athletically or academically. Uh, not a lot of people expected us to be where we're at right now. But um, it, it's just been amazing, an amazing ride. Um, we have two state uh, finalists, two, two, two runner-up trophies, and, and we're not satisfied. Uh, but, but we're proud of the work that we've done. We're proud. I'm proud of my coaches. I'm proud of our student athletes, our parents. We had 70, 80 kids at the state championship game for 5A softball, and uh, we just had a sea of, of Canyon View blue in there, and it just it felt a little bit like normal. But yeah, we're we're excited about what we've been able to do uh, and what we're going to continue to do. I think almost uh, I think 11 out of 13 programs made the postseason this year, um, all the way through. So it's it, it's really been great. And, and in all seriousness, I get I tease him to no end. But my friend Mike here is works as an academic advisor at a college in Southern California. And Mike, this has to be refreshing for you to hear. You know, a, a, a principal and administrator that is so involved and so supportive. What what makes your job easy, Mike, when it comes to this? Uh, well, you know, uh, students bring a lot of enthusiasm from transitioning from high school to college. Is a it's kind of a major leap, but a lot of times the uh, instructors or teachers and administrators in the high school have prepared the students well for what's, uh, what's about to happen. Yeah, so and you don't happen. find that in, in every district out there. You just you know, find guys that just want to go to work every day and, and they don't put in the time or the effort. But, but uh, you know, a guy like Mr. Nallen and his team, you know, Ms. Andrea Hudson, the athletic director, all of the coaches, one of which is going to be is, is joining us or waiting on hold here. We'll bring him on in just a moment. But, uh, Mr. Nallen, when you assembled your staff, you know, how, how did you get so lucky in bringing all these folks together? Well, uh, honestly, uh, you know, we st I started early. Um, I've had a lot of relationships. I've been in our district for 18 years, 19 years. Um, I was a coach, a high school coach, a college coach. So I had a lot of existing relationships uh, in, in, with coaches, with people that I knew already. So really, when we started to add, okay, we've got to build this staff, uh, I tried to look at teachers that I knew were excellent teachers already that I had good relationships with and, and say, hey, come on and be a part of what we're trying to do here. And, and then it was really selling, uh, really selling a vision of, you know, think about the high school, think about what you want, think about 
Uh, what's the very best that you can have? And do you want to be a part of trying to put to, to, to create that? And so um, a number of coaches and teachers that I already knew, and then there were people that knew me and were like, hey, I got somebody over here. Like Des Carranza, our girls basketball coach. A buddy of mine, he's like, hey, I got this dynamite coach that's, that's looking for a place like what you're trying to do. We met, and uh, the running joke is, you know, I, I we go have lunch somewhere, and wherever we have lunch at, that's where we sit down and we talk about what it's going to be. John Jacobs, our softball coach, had lunch with him at the same place, and we sat there and talked. And, uh, you know, I talk, talked about what my vision and expectations were, and if it matched up, I said, come on board. So I, were looking, I was looking for varsity coaches from yeah. the first year so they can build the program from the ground up. So what a coincidence. We just happen to have softball coach John Jacobs on the line with us. Coach Jacobs, are you there? Hello, Coach Jacobs. Uh, he might be muted. Coach Jacobs, good morning, sir. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm yes, here. we do. Okay, so Coach Jacobs, this is a very important question I have to ask you now. So the, the, the day that you met Mr. Nowlin for lunch, two questions. Yeah. Number one, what did you order? And number two, did he pay? <laughs> uh, you know what? I know I ordered, like, he took me some fufu salad place, and I didn't oh. want the guy to think I was going to eat buffalo wings or something like that. So I think I got, like, a salmon salad. And actually, okay. the funny thing about it is I go there all the time to get the salad. Oh, okay. So you started a health trend there, Mr. Nallen. Not only are you are you bringing in, you know, and and attracting uh, uh, top educators and coaches, but you're starting trends. So, but the second question: Did he pay? Uh, you know what? That's a good question. I don't. I don't. That's, <laughs> I, I don't know. But somehow, okay. the class actually is. I'm pretty sure he did pay for it. That sounds like okay. something he would. All right. All right. Well, Coach Jacobs, congratulations on the season that you had this year. Uh, shout out to uh, Canyon View Jaguar softball team. Uh, Mr. Nowlin, thank you. Canyon View High School principal out in the West Valley. We look forward to continuing our partnership with, with your campus and, and your fine students and staff and administration. Great people all the way around. Great school. Uh, uh, Coach Jacobs, congrats again. And uh, we look forward to, to revisiting with you frequently. I appreciate it, man. And I, one thing I want to say is that I've got the best administration in the game. Um, they, they treat us like adults. They, they take our vision and implement in their vision, and our school's incredible. I mean, you drive up to that school and you want to be there every day, and, and that's, that's the infectiousness of our, our campus, and it all starts from the top. All right. Mr. Nowlin, thank you again for joining us. We'll see you soon. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate this. I appreciate the partnership and all that you guys do. And uh, definitely, let's let's stay together and let's ride this wave. There we go. Ride the wave. Here we go. Go Jags. Okay, Canyon View High School, well represented this morning on the Varsity Sports Show. Principal Philip Nowlin, softball coach John Jacobs.